Greetings, beloved brothers and sisters. Welcome to our virtual sanctuary. Please refrain from all posting in the chat unless requested to do so. Be assured that the Lord hears your amens and sees you even though others do not. 1 Symbolic Code 13, page 3, paragraph 7 and 8 says, When the worshippers enter the place of meeting, they should do so with decorum, passing quietly to their seat. If there is a stove in the room, it is not proper to crowd about it in an indolent, careless attitude. Common talking, whispering, and laughing should not be permitted in the house of worship, either before or after the service. Ardent, active piety should characterize the worshippers. If some have to wait a few minutes before the meeting begins, let them maintain a true spirit of devotion by silent meditation, keeping the heart uplifted to God in prayer, that the service may be of special benefit to their own hearts and leading to the conviction and conversion of other souls. They should remember that heavenly messengers are in the house. The whispering and laughing and talking, which might be without sin in a common business place, should find no sanction in the house where God is worshipped. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 5, page 492. While joining the meeting, please enter your two-digit division code followed by a single space, then a dash, followed by another single space. Then put bro.brothers.sis.sisters before your full name while joining. Example, sis.ellen white. Family after your family name. Example, bro.james white's family name of your church or group, example, Monze Church or Monze Group. Each first and last name should begin with a capital letter. Maintain strict reverence during the meeting. If you have a question during the presentation, note down the slide number so that when question time comes, you can be served effectively. The slide number is found at the bottom right corner of the slide in the presentation, which is at the bottom right hand of your screen. Your question may not be taken if you do not have a slide number. When question and answer time comes, make sure to raise your hand when you have a question and you will be added to the question schedule on the chat. If you have called in using a regular phone, you can raise your hand by dialing star 9. Once you see your time comes to speak, you will be called upon by the host. If you are on the phone, you can press star 6 to toggle mute or unmute. Please do not lower your hand. The host will do that for you. If you have another question, please raise your hand again and follow the procedures above. Also, while inviting someone new to the meeting, please make sure to acquaint them with our meeting protocol. Finally, should you experience any problems during the meeting, Please follow the following procedures to send a chat to the host and you will be assisted accordingly. Click the chat icon in the meeting controls. In the to drop down menu, select host. Enter your message in the chat window. Press enter to send your message. Thank you for observing reverence and for your good behavior in the house of God. Welcome again, and God bless. Greetings. Am I audible? Greetings, Sister Gloria. Yes, you can hear you. 
Amen. Greetings, everyone, and happy Sabbath to you all. I welcome you all to this School of the Prophets. We praise the Lord for bringing us through another week, and now we can rest from all our labors. Before we begin, let us reverently kneel before the throne of grace. Loving and compassionate, Father God, we thank thee for this beautiful Sabbath day, a day where we can cease from our tolling and come into thy rest. We thank thee for thy protecting arms around us and that thou kept us from dangers seen and unseen. And although some may have had a trying week, we thank thee that thou brought us through it all. As we begin this School of the Prophets, we thank thee, Father, for the presence of thy Holy Spirit. May he speak to the little ones as they present thy word, and may they continue growing in Christ. Be with thy manservant, Brother Lennox, as he presents thy word. Keep him strong and faithful. Please continue being with thy 11th hour church. Help us all to strive to take on the perfect character of Christ and to live a life of holiness, humbleness, and humility. Help us to love to keep thy commandments and walk in the ways of Christ, our perfect pattern. We ask all these mercies in the most precious name of thy only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ, and the inspiration and kindling of thy Holy Spirit. Praying and believing with gladness and thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Praise the Lord. We would now like to welcome the children's coordinator, Miss Cherry Cox. Greetings, Church, and happy Sabbath. My name is Sister Cherry Cox. I am the coordinator for today's Eastern and Western Hemisphere Children's Sabbath presentation. I am 10 years old from Sedmusha. We will begin our program with a prayer thought, so we now call on Brother Mayambo, who is 11 years old from the Zambia Division, to do so for us. Greetings, Sedge. Greetings. My name is Maimbo Mwenda from Zambia Division, Monze area. Our prayer thought is coming from track number eight, page 102, paragraph one. The great obstacle both to the acceptance and to the Promulgation of truth is the fact that it involves inconvenience and reproach. This is the only argument against the truth which its advocates have never been able to refute. But this does not deter the true followers of Christ. These do not wait for truth to become popular. Being convinced of their duty, they deliberately accept the cross with the Apostle Paul, counting that our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding an internal weight of glory with one odd esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than treasures in Egypt. Brethren, 
the love of our Lord Jesus Christ, just like our dear brother Paul, will help us to love the truth and live by its standards. Amen. And be blessed and happy Sabbath. Thank you, Brother Mayambo, for, for reading to us such wonderful words from God's word. May God continue to bless us. Sister Ellen, who is eight years old from the Zambia division, will now approach God's throne on our behalf. Please let us kneel to pray. Brother Miambro, you have to unmute your mic. Greetings, Church. My name is Ellen Koma. I'm eight years old. Let us play. Our Father, what's in heaven? I'll be thy name, the kingdom come. That be done on earth, sitting in heaven. Thank you for the Sabbath. Help us, children, to present well and by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Sister Ellen, for this wonderful prayer. Now we'll have Brother Johan, who is 11 years old from Aknik, to sing a special song. The trumpet has sounded. Salutations, Lofa Yohan. Greetings, I am Brother Yohan. Je vais chanter le 115. I'm going to sing The Trumpet Has Sounded. 3, 4. La trompette a retenti. Écoutez, écoutez. Du ciel résonne ce cri. Le Seigneur revient. Ou toi qui sommeilles, écoutez, écoutez, viens et te réveille, le Seigneur revient. Entendez-vous le clairon, écoutez, écoutez, l'épouse en connaît le son. Jésus vient bientôt et dans l'allégresse. Écoutez, écoutez, son cœur dit sans cesse. Jésus vient bientôt. La trompette retentit. Écoutez, écoutez. Levez-vous, il est minuit, voici l'époux vient au banquet de fête. 
écoutez, écoutez, que chacun sa poète, voici les pouviens, voici les pouviens. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, Brother Johan, for this wonderful song, for this special song. Now, at our last meeting on Sabbath, December 10th, our reading passage was on the five, on the five foolish virgins. Today, we will present the five wise virgins, and it will be read by Sister Nadia Mulama who is eight years old from the Kenya division. Immediately after the reading, we will have the question and answer session. So boys and girls, please listen attentively to the reading so that we will be able, so that you will be able to answer the questions. Greetings. 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 My name is Sister Nadia Mulama from Kenya Division. I am eight years old. I'm going to present the reading passage from Matthew chapter 25, the five wise virgins. Next. Matthew chapter, 20, Matthew chapter 25, verse 1 to 5 says, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened to ten, unto ten virgins, which took their lambs and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took, oil, took their lambs and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lambs. While, while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Next slide. Matthew chapter 25, verse 6 to 9. And it says, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lambs. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lambs are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Next slide. Matthew chapter 25, verse 10 to 13. It says, And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. The bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour, wherein the Son of Man cometh. Next slide. Characteristics of the five wise virgins. The number 10, being a symbol of universal, it represents the church as a body prior to the commencement of the judgment of the living. 
in the ceiling period of the 144,000 and before the low cry of the third angel's message, being the period of the first fruits of the harvest, of the first fruit of the harvest. The five wise virgins were they who trusted in God and his word only, having no confidence in man, were, and were hungry for truth, searching for light, and gladly accepting it when it came. Thus they received the seal of God's approval. Their sins were blotted out, and their lives made sure they passed from condemnation and death into glory and life eternal. They are God's servants, kings, and priests. 144,000 in number. That's at 2 page 185, paragraph 1. Here we see number 10. The number 10 used in the parable represents the church as a body before the beginning of the judgment of the living in the period of the first fruits harvest. Again, we see the wise virgins were those who trusted in God and, and his word only, have no confidence in man, were hungry for truth, search for light, and gladly accept it when they get it. As a result, they get the seal of the living God. Their sins are blotted out. They received eternal life. They are God's servants, 144,000 in number. Next slide. The five wise virgins took extra oil, but the but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But the wise took oil in the vessels with their lamps. The oil is a symbol of the Spirit of God in the form of a message, truth, truth. For it is the substance that gives the light, the prophetic word of God. The lamp must be a symbol. The lamb must be a symbol of be a symbol of the art into which the word oil is being retained. The trimming of their lambs is the trimming of their hearts. That is, their conscience being aroused, they began to show interest. SR2 Pejonity 2 paragraph 3. Here we see, inspiration tells us that oil is a symbol of the spirit of God in, in form of truth. The lamp is the heart into which the truth, oil, is retained. The virgin streaming their lamps means their consciences were aroused and began to show interest. Next slide. Be in the class of the five wise virgins. Be in the class of the five wise virgins, my brethren, and avail yourselves of this extra oil now before you. Your lamps, before your lamps go out and the door closes forever. Matthew chapter 25, verse 10. Anoint thine eyes with thyself that thou mayest see. Revelation chapter 3, verse 18. Sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the church. Ezekiel chap chapter 9, verse 4, 4. That you may prove yourselves worthy to carry the message to her. Then after you have cried out, 
Oh, Judah, keep thy solemn feasts, perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. Nahum chapter 1 verse 15, last part. And this shall be said of you, be all upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. Nahum chapter 1 verse 15, first part. And who will be spared through butter and honey? Track number 6, page 42, paragraph 2. Inspiration tells us that we should strive to get the extra oil extra oil now before our lamps go out and the door closes forever. What we need to do is anoint our eyes with ourselves, sigh and cry for the abominations in the church. Then it shall be said of us, Behold upon the mountains of the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. Nahum chapter 1 verse 15. And we shall be spared through butter and honey. Now we, sh we shall go to the questions and answer session. The coordinator can help me to call the names of of those who have raised their hands question number one who are the wise virgins i will repeat who are the wise virgins Sister Natasha Black family. Greetings. Who took extra oil in their lungs? Correct. Another person. BTC Kenya. My name is Brother who trusted in God and his word on correct another person yes dear Shari Moyo yes dear Shari Moyo Both in Jew Church. Yes, it's coming behind. Can I be heard? Yes, you can yes. be heard. <laughs> Yes, can I be heard? Yes, you can be heard. Greetings. 
The answer is, wise virgins were they who trusted in God only having no confidence in man and were hungry for truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. <coughs> Let us go to the answer. The wise virgins are God's servants, kings, priests, priests. They are one forty-four thousand in number. Question number two. Describe a wise virgin. I will repeat. Describe a wise virgin. Sister Yvonne. Greetings. Greetings. My name is Sister Yvonne Wajiku. Vice, wise virgins were they who trust in God, his word only having no confidence in man and were hungry for truth. Amen. Amen. Another person. BGC Kenya. Greetings. 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 Can I be heard? Yes, she can be heard. My name is Sister Lena. My name is Sister Lena. <laughs> the the wise virgins trusted in God and were all, always searching for light and gladly accepting it. Amen. Correct. Go, let us go to the answer. A wise virgin is someone who trusts in God and this word only, has no confidence in man, he is angry for truth, searches for light, gladly accepts the truth when it comes. Question number three. What is the reward of the wise virgin? I will repeat. What is the reward of the wise virgin? Yes, yes, Brother George. Greetings, Church. Can I be heard? Great. Yes, you can be heard. They will see the bridegroom. Right. 
Ohio. Good trial. Another person. Brother Vincent. Greetings. My name is Shalimel. The reward of the wise virgins was internal life. Correct. Another person. VTT. Sister Natasha Black family. They got it on a life. They got it on a life. Correct. Let us go to the answer. They received the seal of God's approval. Their sins were blotted out and their lives made sure. They passed from condemnation and death into glory and life eternal. Question, question number four. What does the oil represent? I will repeat, what does the oil represent? Sister Patricia Rowley. Salutations, Jésus. Greetings, Lord Jesus. C'est le frère Good Nolan. I am brother, I am brother Nolan. Nolan. No. Um, L'huile représente the oil represents l'esprit de Dieu, the spirit of God, sous forme de message, in form of message. Amen. Amen. That is correct. Amen. Sister Naomi. My name is Ivy. The oil is a symbol of the spirit of God in the form of a message. Correct. Let us go to the answer. The oil is a symbol of the Spirit of God in the form of a message, truth. For it is the substance that gives the light, the prophetic word of God. Question number five. What does the lamp represent? I will repeat. What does the lamp represent? Brother Anthony. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. The answer is the lamp must be a symbol of the heart into which the truth all is retained. 
Correct. Let us go to the answer. The lamp is a symbol of the heart, heart into which the word oil is being retained. Question number six. Explain the fresh stringing of their hearts. Lamps. I will repeat. Ex explain the phrase trimming of their lamps. VTC Kenya. The press the press the press the press of the lamps means to show interest to the truth. Correct. Another person. Sister Patricia Rolly. C'est encore moi. C'est encore moi. Euh, ma réponse est que. My answer is. Préparer les lampes. Uh, to prepare the lamps. C'est préparer les cœurs. It's to prepare, to prepare the hearts. Pour la vérité présente. To receive the present truth. Amen. Good Amen. trial. Bon Another essay. person. Eva Lewis. Sister Eva Lewis. Je suis Ethan. Greetings. I am Brother Ethan. Prepare the cœur. So, uh, prepare the lamps. It's preparing the heart. Good trial. Okay. Good. Another person. Yes, yes, Shawama. Sherry Moyo. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. My name is Deborah Mogi. The answer is the trial of the abomination. Good trial. Let us go to the answer. The trimming of their lamps means the trimming of their hearts. That is, their conscience being aroused, they began to show interest. Question number seven. What should we do to be in the class of the five wise virgins? I will repeat. What should we do to be in the cl class of the five wise virgins? Yes, dear Shari Moyo. Happy Zaba. Happy day. My name is Sister Penny Brenda. We should try and pray for the abomination which is going on in the church. Amen. Another person. VTC Kenya.
next person. This is the Natasha Black family. Anoint thy eyes with thy eyes. Anoint thy eyes with eyes. Amen. Let us let us go to the answer. Be to be in the class of the five wise virgins. We must. Avail ourselves of this extra oil now before our lamps go out and the door closes forever. Anoint our eyes with eyesalf that we may see. Fire and cry for the abominations that be done in the church that we may prove ourselves, ourselves worthy to carry the message to her. Now we shall. Now we have reached the end of our passage reading. God bless. Have a blessed Sabbath. Thank you, Sister Nadia, for this wonderful reading, and we also thank you the children who participated in answering the question answer the questions at this time we will have a memory verse from matthew chapter 25 verse 3 to 4 by sister yvonne gakuki at this time we will have a memory verse from matthew chapter chapter 25 verse 3 to 4 by brother Ethan. John Baptist, who is seven years old from Matnik. Je vous souhaite trois et quatre mille feux en posant leur lampe, le cœur point d'huile avec quinze mille essais, faire leur lampe avec de l'huile de l'hiver. Amen. Thank you, Brother Ethan John Baptist, for this wonderful memory verse. Sister Yvonne Gakuki who is 11 years old from the Kenya division, will now recite a poem entitled, A Child As I Am. Greetings. Greetings. Am I audible? Greetings. Yes, you are audible. Greetings. Greetings. My name is Sister Yvonne Wanjiku. I'm going to present a poem entitled A Child as I Am. A Child as I Am, following the great I am, I sound an alarm to all children as I am. A Child as I Am. I entreat to you all, follow the great I am, to him give all. I'm a child, I think like a child, but firm and mild, not like the modern crown, forsake the word. I'm a, a child as I am, following the great I am, I stand and <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to start again.
I'm a child. I think like a child, but firm and mild, not like the modern crown, forsake the world. A child as I am, follow. A child as I am, I entreat to you all, follow the great I am, to him give me. Be obedient, do not neglect the fifth commandment, obey your parents, blessings you will impart. A child as I am, I entreat to you all, follow the great I am, to him give one. A child as I am, I entreat to you all, follow the great I am, to him give one. Blessed Sabbath. Thank you, Sister Yvonne, for this beautiful poem. Now we will listen to Sister Joy, who is 10 years old from the Uganda division. She will sing the song Rolling Down to Jordan. Greetings, Trash. Greetings. I'm going to sing a song. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Oh, my sisters, do you want to go? Oh, my sisters, do you want to go? Are you ready for the judging hall? Roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Do you want to go? Oh, my brothers, do you want to go? Are you ready for the judgment? Roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, roaring down to Jordan, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Joy, for this beautiful song. Now I will do the closing prayer. Let us reverently kneel to pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another Sabbath. We thank you for blessing us with your words. Help us to be obedient to you and forgive us for the wrongs which we have done. In the Son's most precious name and by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, we thank you and ask you all, Amen. Amen. Trust that you were blessed by this presentation. I say a special thank you. I say a special thank you to all the beautiful children who participated and listened to the presentation. Many thanks and love to the parents who ensured that the participants were ready to present today. May we continue to allow the Lord to use us in his service. May his great name be praised. Thank you. 
Amen. Amen. Amen, indeed. A beautiful presentation for the, from the children. May God continue to bless all of these children and their parents. Praise the Lord. And let us all strive to be a wise virgin. Thank you so much for that beautiful presentation. We will now welcome Brother Lenox Sam. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Praise his holy name. Praise his holy name. Um, please <laughs> let me know if my microphone should go again. <laughs> okay. My seems to have a mind of its own. And I think you usually switch to another microphone, but just let me know. Pay attention. Let me know when I go out. If I do. Okay. Thank you. Praise his holy name. Wow, what a presentation. I was truly blessed. Oh, the pictures, the wonderful pictures. Oh, would I like to spend a beautiful, I would love to spend a Sabbath in this garden. What a garden. A beautiful scenery. Show the beauty. And to think that sin has marred the beauty of God's creation. But yet we can behold so much beauty. What would it be like in the Garden of Eden? What would it be like in the earth made new? Well, my dearly beloved, each and every one of us, have an opportunity to be in the Garden of Eden and in the Earth Made New. And parents, please continue to lead and guide these little ones so that they can really take a hold of this wonderful message. This is enough what they've presented to cause a willing heart to respond. And with innocence and the conviction, the spirit will truly work. What a blessed presentation. Well, I think we don't need mine. Well, I don't have one. We will continue our question and answers. And let us oh, share, share screen. Okay, screen is visible. Yes, it is. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Praise his holy name. For those of you who are new, who have been here, welcome to the Division Seventh Adventist Church, the eleventh hour church, the church that has the truth for the hour. God has only one movement at any given time, and the Division Seventh Adventist Church is his church at this particular time. Let us grasp hold of this great privilege. It is not enough for us to just be members. It's not enough to attend. Remember the foolish virgins and the wise virgins. All 10 slept. Not the wise alone were, it did not say the wise were awake and the foolish slept. We want to think that the, the foolish ones are the ones that sleep, but the word of God tells us all slept. Now is, we're in a time of slumbering, but we're taking in the truth, but we're doing nothing with it. That's the sleeping part. We're too busy with whatever. 
And it says they all slept. Well, the time is coming when the call is going to be made. So it is written that you will slumber and you will sleep in your activities. But in your pursuit for the truth, you cannot sleep on that. Study to show it yourself, approve. Our prayer thought is taken from manuscript release number eight, page 300. I will read paragraphs three and four. Let us not in any way be deceived. Let us realize the weakness of humanity and see where man fails in his self-sufficiency. We shall then be filled with a desire to be just what God desires us to be, pure, noble, sanctified. We shall hunger and thirst after the righteousness of Christ. To be like God will be the one desire of the soul. To be like God will be the one desire of the soul. This is the desire that filled Enoch's heart. And we read that he walked with God. He studied the character of God to a purpose. He studied the character of God so that it can be his character. He had one desire in his soul, and that was to be like God. He did not mark out his own course. Or set up his own will. As if he thought himself fully qualified to manage matters. My dearly beloved, we must not believe that we are able to manage the matters that pertains to our soul salvation. Let the Lord cut out your course and let his will be your will. He strove to confirm himself to the divine likeness. As we go through these days, these 300 days of walking with Christ, Christ has set the example of how we should live total dependence on the Father. That's the example. And it is written. That's how Enoch did it. And he was translated. We who are destined to translation, we who are striving, we who are hoping for translation must be like Jesus, perfect representative. Let us pray. Our most high God and our Father who's in heaven, Glory and majesty is thy name. With privilege and honor and joy, and we come before thee, asking thee to help us, help us to have one desire, and that is to be like thee. It is 
thou that can put this in our heart. It is the Father. We cannot. So we ask thee to put it in our hearts so that we can practice it. So we can strive and hunger and thirst after the righteousness of our Lord and our Savior. Father, help us to give up trying. We've been trying for so long. 6,000 years is about to expire, Father. Thou knowest better than we. We can assume, we can think, we can feel that the 6,000 years is almost over. But thou knowest exactly the time it will come to an end. And we are asking thee, Father, because it is written that we can hasten the time. Dear Lord Jesus, help us to hasten the time of getting to the kingdom. And if there should be an extension, Father, for the 6,000 years, let it be while we are in the kingdom. Let us not be on this side. Let us not extend this side of the kingdom, Lord. Let us extend after we get there. Please, Holy Father. And today, as we answer questions pertaining to thy comings, let our hearts be filled with wisdom from on high. Bless each and every one of thy people. Put a hedge around thy church, those who are called by thy name, and seal the truth in their hearts so that we can have one desire, and that is to be like thee. These mercies we ask, Father, in the precious holy name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus our King, our Redeemer, our Messiah, and by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Before we get into the quiz, I would like to Read a couple paragraphs of meditation. In the beginning, I'm reading from page 688 in The Desire of Ages. Beginning on paragraph one. Paragraph four. Desire of Ages, page 668. Paragraph one says, the Lord is disappointed when his people place a low esteem upon themselves. The Lord is disappointed when his people place a low esteem upon themselves. He desires his chosen heritage to value themselves according to the price he has placed upon them. God wanted them. Else, he would not have sent his son on such an expensive errand to redeem them. The devil's and his agents and his seed put a high value upon themselves. While the children of God put a low value. Well, my dearly beloved, that is not humility. That is disappointment to the Lord. You are valuable. And he did not say, men, 
No. He said, his people. Which means men, women, children, all three, inclusive. We must begin to put the value that we're worth. He has a use for them. He's well pleased when they make the very highest demands upon him. He's very pleased when we make the very highest demands upon him. That they may glorify his name. Do not believe the high demands is asking the Lord for so, a whole lot of stuff to, to make you look good. He's talking about making high demands upon him to glorify his name. This is the time when Christ must be lifted up. Christ must be exalted. It's the only thing that will bring him to this earth. Is when he looked down, he see a people exalting his name. Bringing glory and honor through their lives. They may expect large things if they have faith in his promises. They may have large things. You may believe and you may think, all I can do is to help with the cooking when the church meets. I cannot do anything else. Well, my dearly beloved, if that is your gift, you will cook largely. You will be the best cook. You will have people being satisfied with your meals. And you will bring joy to their hearts because their stomach is feeling right. It doesn't matter what. Expect large things. You're asked to give one study. Expect to give many studies. Doesn't matter what. Think and expect large things. Some of you are thinking, I cannot do this. Well, my dearly beloved, you cannot. You are absolutely correct. You cannot do this. And as long as you continue to do it, you'll never do it. You have to remember, you can do all things through Christ. And how do you get to do these things? You have to ask him. And why do you want to do these things? To glorify his name. Bless the Lord. But to pray in Christ's name means much. To pray in Christ's name means much. It means that we are to accept his character, manifest his spirit, and work his works. This is the time for us to be like Christ. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks of us. It is what Christ knows of us. For he said to the foolish virgins, I know you not. Man may think, man may think you're unfit to do the work that God has called you to do. You keep doing the work. The Lord will fix you. You just allow yourself to be fixed and go forth and do the work. Because even if you have done it the way they want it, they will still have something to complain about. 
Remember, Christ did all the miracles in front of the Pharisees and the scribes, the rulers of Israel. John says, if all the things were written, the earth cannot hold the things, all the things he did. And my dearly beloved, things were broadcast. He does something in one city, it gets to the next city, into the next city, so they all knew. But yet, they submitted him to be killed. It doesn't matter. Do not look for man's praise. Christ says, he don't need man to say anything about him. He knows what is in man. If Christ knows what in, it is in man and do not want need man to say or do anything for him, then why should we turn to man? Why? Isn't it enough that the veil was rent, that the system where we need a go-between is over? Must we replace it? Oh, precious Lord. All the things that Christ did, and when he was hanging on the cross, these foolish men, these leaders, they said, others he helped. Himself he cannot. But my dearly beloved, they were preaching a sermon because he didn't come to serve himself. He came to serve. He didn't come to help himself. Obviously, he needs no help. He came to help humanity. And if we will be like him, we must be selfless. They said, come down from the cross and we will believe you. Really? If he had come down from that cross, they would have told him something else for them to believe. Do not trust man. Do not depend upon man. Turn and away from man. See, see from man, my dearly beloved. If we are going to get to the kingdom, Christ is looking down and he's seeing a people that have turned away from man. My dearly beloved, you have to join. Everyone must turn wholeheartedly away from man. And that's when Christ shall come. Because it's at that time, he can replicate himself in each and every one of us. Showing several aspects of his character so that man can know it is Christ. If we, if ye love, the Savior promise, the Savior's promise is given on condition. If ye love me, he says, keep my commandments. He saves men. Not in sin, but from sin. How many years have you been sinning and repenting, sinning and repenting, sinning and repenting? How many years? Isn't it not time to stop? Oh, yes, I'm speaking to you. Don't worry about me. I'm speaking about you. God is going to take care of me as he's going to take care of you. Stop looking around. Stop looking at your sister over there and your brother over there. And start looking to Christ so he can fix you. He saves men not in sin, but from sin. And those who love him will show their love by obedience. By obedience. <laughs> My dearly beloved, 
too many of us have been trying to do. Stop trying to do and let God do. You see, when God put it in you, it flows out. We have been trying to fix the outside so it can flow in. It doesn't work like that. But when the inside is fixed, the, it flows out. You see, when you have a healthy body, you can see it in the glow of your skin. You can see it in the texture of your hair. You can see it in the texture of your nails. When the inside is healthy. But fixing up the, in, the outside is the devil's method. He allow women to put on makeup to fix the depravity on the inside, the loss on the inside. And men are attracted to the external sights instead of listening to the internal Love, the internal obedience, because how does it come out? It come out in words and action. Meditate. All true obedience comes from the heart. Yes, my dearly beloved. It's not from the external. It's from the internal. It was hard work with Christ. And if we consent he will so identify himself with our thoughts and aims. So blend our hearts and mind into conformity to his will that when obeying him, we shall be but carrying out our own impulses. Yes, my dear beloved. You get an impulse to do something and it's Christ who's giving it to you. Why? Because you connect with him. My dearly beloved, every action begins with a thought. And thoughts don't come to your head in doubles and triples. They come one by one. They can come one after another very quickly, but they come one by one. But my dearly beloved, what we need to do is when the thought comes, stop the thought. And said, what will Jesus have me to do? And it will take a split second. And you go forward and he will show you what he would have you to do. Do not expect some kind of spontaneous combustion or something. It is the still voice and the still action. Let the thought be governed by the word of God. The will refined and sanctified will find its highest delight in doing his service. The will refined and sanctified will find its highest delight in doing his service. When we know God, as it is our privilege to know him, our life will be a life of continual obedience. Oh, what a wonderful statement. When we know God, our life will be a life of continual, continual obedience. Through an appreciation of the character of Christ, through communion with God, sin will become hateful to us, hateful. My dearly beloved, there's only one, one person that walked the face of this earth that ever hated sin perfectly, and that was Christ Jesus. He hated sin perfectly. The only way we can be like him is to hate sin. And not the sin that is being performed by your brother, your sister, your husband, your wife, your child, your whoever. The sin that is being performed by you. 
every last one of them hate them. The devil will tell you it's not sin. Oh, it's just the Lord understands. It is sin. Hate it. Paragraph 4, Desire of Ages 6, 6, 8. As Christ lived the law in humanity, so we may do it if we will take hold of the strong for strength. If we will take hold of the strong for strength. How many of you, a church and a whole has been depending upon the minister the elder, the this one, the that one for strength. Instead, what is what have you been getting over the years? Weakness, 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 and weakness. It is Christ who is strong. It is Christ who has the strength to give, not man. In every situation, it is Christ who can give you strength to go through it. But we are not to place the responsibility of our duty upon others. We are not to place the responsibility of our duty upon others and wait for them to tell us what to do. Everyone has been waiting for someone to tell them what. I'd want to do a work for the Lord, but I don't know what. If you want to do a, a work, for your neighbor, would you not go and ask him what you can do to help to help him? Would you sit there and go and ask, ask the neighbors two doors down what you can do to help the neighbor right next door to you? No, you don't do that. Well, then why are you leave? You want to do a work for the Lord, but you leave him and you go ask a man, what can I do to help the Lord? It, it is not it doesn't appear what it is when we just do it. But when we stop and think of it, it's really stupidity. You want to do a work for Christ and you go and ask Brother Lennox, what can I do to serve the Lord? Haven't he told you? No, but then go and ask him. We cannot depend for counsel upon humanity. Oh, yes, my dearly beloved. This ministerial counsel in business. It was for the, back then, but for now. Christ must be our counselor or our guide. This is the time he must be perfectly replicated in us. It is his counseling we need. We cannot depend upon counsel from humans, regardless who the human is. The Lord will teach us our duty just as willingly he will teach somebody else. Why would you want the Lord to go teach somebody else and then they come and teach you when you can get the lesson directly from him? Isn't that putting up the veil? The veil is ripped, my dearly beloved. If we're expecting to see God, we must see him now. Yes, my dearly beloved, I said we must see him now. And how do we see him? We see him in the actions and in the words of each other. And that's how man will see Christ in the words and in the action of his followers. And the people will begin to say, there is a people on this earth. I've never seen the likes of them. No, my dearly beloved, it's not when we get to the kingdom. It is now. If you don't live the kingdom life now, you would never get to the kingdom. So stop telling yourself it's when we get to the kingdom. No, it's not. I 
Excuse me, Brother Lennox. Yes. It is time for the first half an hour prayer. I mean, I'm sorry, first half an hour song. Let it be done. Amen. The first song will be sung by the Reds family, and they'll be singing from the 11th hour church hymnal, number 62, Hold My Hand. In the night I bowed with my face Lord ward, and my trembling hands upward. So afraid was I, and I cried, O oh Lord, save me from this lukewarmness. Hold oh, my hand, Lord, each and every hour, all the way to the Praise the Lord. Hold my hand. Praise the Lord. The Lord will teach us our duty just as willingly as he will teach somebody else. If we come to him in faith, he will speak his mysteries to us personally. Our hearts will often burn within us as one draws nigh to commune with us, as he did with Enoch. Those who decide to do nothing in any line that will displease God, those who decide to do nothing in any line that will displease God, will know, after presenting their case before him, just what course to pursue. If you decide that you'll do nothing to displease God, when you present your case to him, you will know exactly the work he's got for you to do. And they will receive not only wisdom, but strength. Yes, my dearly beloved. We need strength in these last days. Strength coming from Christ. His strength. Because 
The devil is like a roaring lion. He knows his time is at an end. And he knows if he must do anything, he must stop the 24,000 from coming into existence. He knows he's losing his battle because he's seeing the activities that you cannot see. He is seeing the angels busy around you who are called by his name. You who are obedient, you who are striving, he sees, he sees that the number are increasing. He's seeing that those he had captive are being set free. And it's happening right before his face. And he knows his time is shortening and shortening. So he's going to come out with the most subtlety. We would need wisdom and strength. Strength to resist. All it takes is for us to resist. That's what the Lord says. Resist. Power for obedience. Power for service. Will be imparted to us. Because Christ has promised it. Whatever was given to Christ. The all things. To supply the need of fallen men. Was given to him. As the head. And representative of humanity. And whatsoever we ask. We receive of him. All things are already given to him to work in our behalf. So if we ask, we will receive. Because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight, he will give us what is desire of our hearts. To be one with God. One. Perfect obedience. Meditate on these thoughts. Read them again. And get ready. Our redemption is drawing nigh. God is about to translate his church. His church are made up of people, not stones, people. So therefore, the world, the angels, the church, must see those people because those people are not being raised in secret. The Lord says, we will be the spectacle. He wants to display himself. He wants his glory to be seen. This we are to be his glory, his throne of glory, his kingdom of glory. It is you and you and you and you too, from the youngest to the oldest. We are the church. Let us not lose out. God bless us as we continue with
our questions pertaining to the comings of Christ. And the question, to the first question is, and please, these questions may require a collection of statements. So have your collection of statements and have your reason. And do not just say something because you want to say something. Have your reason. Have your statement. Have your reason. Okay. Now, raise your hand with your answer. Everyone is encouraged to participate. If I don't have enough hands, then I will call on individuals to participate. So the first question, how long did the chariot remain for the, for the Lord's first visit? How long? First, we need to establish okay we do have brother James brother James you can go ahead Salutations, Jésus. Greetings in Jesus at, at, to the church. Salutations, Brother Salut Lenox. Greetings, Brother Lenox. Greetings. J'ai une citation dans. I la... have a quotation. Page 10, page 3. Track number one, page 10. Paragraph As the chariots mounting uh, from the earth shows that in this particular throne, God visits the earth and then, when his mission is accomplished, returns to heaven. Naturally, our uppermost desire is to know the answer to the question, when will this prophetic vision be fulfilled? Alors, ici, dans cette citation, so, in this uh, quotation, donc, il dit que puisque Dieu nous visite, it is said as uh, c'est autre particulier. Uh, God visits us, visit et the que, earth, et qu'une fois que sa mission achevée, and when his, his mission is accomplished. Le chariot retourne au ciel. The chariot return to heaven. Alors, dans, dans une autre citation, il nous dit, so, il nous dit, in quand another le chariot est arrivé, said, it, it gave us the, when the chariot is arrived. C'est dans tracte 1 à la page 37, deuxième paragraphe. So, in the same track, page 37. Quel paragraphe? Paragraphe 2. Paragraphe 2. Thank you. And since it is already... The fact, therefore, that from the chariot, 
The Lord commands the prophet to go speak, bear the message to his people, and that the message to those over 1,250 pages of literature published since 1930, unfolding its truth from different angles, solemnly reveals that the chariot, though invisible to human beings as to the young man, were the chariots which covered the mountains, to Kings chapter 6, verse 17, has already arrived. And since it is already here, it must, of course, be the divine instrumentality through which, as a sort of base of operations, the Lord is ordering and directing his work, and through which he shall do so until this gospel of the kingdom be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and the end come, Matthew 24, verse 14. The end, the unbelievable, to those who say, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation to Peter chapter three, verse four. But the long looked for to those who shall say, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him and he will save us. Isaiah 55 verse nine. Dreadful, awful finality. It should drive all to ascertain the purpose of the message. Dans la deuxième citation, il nous est dit que. So in this second uh, quotation, it is said. Que le chariot est arrivé. That the chariot came. En 1930. In 1930. Donc, c'est par le prophète que le chariot. It is by the prophet that the chariot que le Seigneur a donné le message. That the Lord gave the message. Et maintenant, une fois que la mission est terminée, and now, once the mission is accomplished, c'est-à-dire la mission du prophète, so the mission of the prophet, Euh, le chariot doit retourner au ciel. The chariot has to return to heaven. Merci, c'est ce que je voulais dire. Thank you, this is what I wanted to, to share. But the last of you speaking, we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can now, yes. Yes, the microphone. The microphone struck again. Yes. How do we know that the mic that the in this statement, how do I know that the chariot came in 1930? Which explain to me the phrase that tells us 19 that the chariot came in 1930. Oui, donc, euh, la phrase qui the sentence qui m'a retenu attention dans which take my attention dans le tract numéro 1, page 37, deuxième paragraphe in this uh, statement donc euh, c'est que le fait que du chariot le Seigneur commande it is the 
by what is written, the fact that, that from the chariot the Lord commands. Le prophète d'aller s'adresser à son peuple. The prophet to go speak, bear the message to his people, and that. Donc ce message comptant 1250 pages. That the message totals over 1250 pages of literature. Fut publié dès 1930 et où il va l'avoir. Since 1930, unfolding his truth from different angles. Nous apporte la preuve solennelle que le chariot bien qu'invisible aux êtres humains. Solemnly reveals that the chariot, though invisible to human beings, Ici, il nous a dit que le chariot est arrivé. Here, chariot it is said that the chariot is there, bien qu'invisible, though invisible. Et il est là en 1930. But he is there in 1930. He was there in 1930. Okay. So he was there in 1930 because the literature was published since 1930. Could did he come the publishing of the literature? Did he, arrive, did he arrive for the publishing of the literature? Depuis 1929, alors, since 1929, then le, char le chariot est déjà là, mais la publication the chariot was already there. En 1930. And the literature was there in 1930. Where do I see 1929 in this? Alors ici, il ne, il ne mentionne pas la... So here la, it is not mentioned, the action in 1929. Well, then Alors, was... Dans une autre citation, c'est-à-dire... But la... that, in another quotation... Dans track, oh, track that's crazy. Track 13. In track number 13. Okay. Je pense que c'est à la page 42. I think that is in page 42. You think? Okay. Is it that you think or you're telling me page 42? Oui, c'est à la page 42. Yes, it is in page 42. Okay. Where on page 42? Pardon, c'est à la page 44, premier paragraphe. Sorry, it's page 44. Okay. 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 So here is your evidence. Paragraph one, but are you not? Okay. First present truth study given Isaiah 54, January 6. And what was that study? It was on Isaiah 54. In the form of the rod message? Dans la forme du message 
Oui, bien sûr. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. So what about the next paragraph? The truth of the 144,000 revealed February 1. The Shepherd's Rod, Volume 1. Manuscript 33 copies delivered to leading brethren of the SDA denomination in June. The Shepherd's Word, Volume 1, 5,000 copies published December 4. Alors, ici, à partir de 1930. So, here from 1930. Donc, c'est la publication de la Verge du Berger, volume 1. It is the publishing of the Shepherd's Word, volume 1. Et la vérité sur les 54 000 qui fut révélée of, à... Of the truth of... Concerning the truth of the 144,000. Mais l'arrivée du message, c'était en the, 1920. But when the message came, the arrival of the message was in 1929. Which you associate with the arriving in the chart of the chariot? Alors, eh, okay. Someone want to eh. help? We have Sister Gillian Yearwood hand is up. I'm not sure if she can help. Someone, someone want to help? Greetings, Brother Lennox. Greetings, Church is saying to help with this part of the situation. When did the yes. chariot? Yeah. If you, if you want well, to help, or anyone else. Well, looking at because my answer I have is what I'm sharing, but from what he stated, track number 13, page 44, one, when you look at it, 1929, I don't see that the chariot came then. I see it in 1930 because the truth of the 144,000 was revealed, whereas in 1929, the spirit of God was given the prophet the understanding of the first present truth. So to answer the question, it starts with when the chariot came to when it left. And I would say it came in 1930 before I give my answer to when it left, because you said, how long did it remain? Okay, so it came, you're saying February 1st, 1930. Yes. Okay, so what happened, I want, I want someone to help with what happened in 1929, January 6. Well, that's what I was saying. The Spirit of God was speaking to him through the quarterly on the subject of Isaiah, the chariot. Yes, that's what I want to hear. This was, this was the Sabbath school quarterly. And that quarterly was written before 1929. It was inspired, but it was written before 90. So the present truth was what the church needed to do at that particular time. But the revelation of the truth concerning the 144,000, which is the shepherd's rod message, was given in 1930, February 1st. And that's when we know for sure the, the Sharia came to deliver the message when it was revealed because the revelation must come with the Sharia, with Christ. And therefore, that will be more 
Okay, your other statements, because I need another yeah, statement. Here. Before she yeah, gives her other the statement, excuse me, huh? Mr. Gillian, before you give your other yeah, statement, it's time for the uh, second half an hour okay. song. Let us okay. have it. All right, and it'll be from Brother Anthony Aliamo. He'll also be singing from the 11th of the church hymnal number 10, I Love the Ride. Mm. Praise the Lord, am I audible? Yes, you are. Amen. I love the road message, no theories of men. To read it day by day gives joy unspoken. It satisfies my heart, with it I stand. The road I will hear, till the Lord is the Lord's command. Fill me with more zeal and impress my mind. I open my heart to thee. No longer naked, poor, wretched, and blind. Lord, come and sup with me. The road is a gift from the Lord of love. Tis present truth today from the throne above. I'll share this precious truth at home abroad. I have to be led by the shepherd's rod. Fill me with more zeal and impress my mind. I open my heart to thee. No longer naked, poor, wretched, and blind. Lord, come and sup with me. The road is as sweet as the pure honey. Come by this bread of heaven without money. Forsake your own ways, join God's pilgrim band. This truth, this truth will guide you to the promised land. Fill me with more zeal and impress my mind. I open my heart to thee. No longer naked, poor, wretched, and blind. Lord, come and sup with me. Amen. Amen. Fill me, Lord. Okay, Sister Yerwood comes in. Sister Gillian. Yes, thank you. Yes, my answer was what we just covered, track number 13, page 44 to 1, and the other part to answer the question fully is in track number 1, page 39, paragraph 2. Following the completion of the slaughter and just preceding the scattering of the coals of fire, over the city, the cherubim stood on the right side of the house, and the cloud filled the inner court. Ezekiel 10, verses 2 and 3. Later, they lifted up their wings and mounted up from the earth in my sight, said the prophet. Ezekiel 10, 19. That's where the answer is as to how long, from 1930 to the, after the slaughter. The chariot remained? Right from 1930 to the completion of the slaughter. And what was the mission of the chariot? To give the message to the prophet. Where do we find that? Oh, well, 
I will release the mic because I don't, I know where, I know what it says, but I have to get a reference and I answered how long it remains. So I will release the mic for that one. Okay. We have Sister Edna Tawawa. Uh, praise God, Judge. Praise God. Amen. So, yeah, the, it, uh, how long it took? Of course, we know it came on February uh, of 1930. From that track number 13, page 44, paragraph 2, we have seen that. How long it remains? We have to know when it remained, rather. We have to know when uh, the mission was accomplished, and we have thus to establish what was the mission of the chariot for us to know when it went or it has to go, if it is there still. So in that case, I kindly request that we open track number one, page 10, paragraph three. Track number one, page 10, mm -hmm. paragraph three. So as to see the mission. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. As the chariots mounting up from the earth shows that in this particular throne, God visits the earth and then when his mission is accomplished, returns to heaven. Naturally, our uppermost desire is to know the answer to the question, when will this prophetic vision be fulfilled? Um, so according to, okay, so according to Ezekiel, the prophet was to bear his message to the whole house of Israel. The term, okay, so the words are too small. The term, the term house of Israel denoting either all 12 tribes or only the 10 tribes as the case might be. Yet he did not understand the meaning of the uh, vision. Had he, had he, he would have explained it rather than declaring, I came to them of the captivity of the at the Labib that dwelt by the river of Zepa. And I sat where they sat and remained there astonished among them seven days. Anyway, let me not continue downward. So we realized that um, from here, it is telling us about the, the mission. When his mission is accomplished, it stands to heaven. So there, it's, it's, it's where the road is telling us that the time that this chariot uh, was to stay here was the time when his mission was to be accomplished. And we know the mission, of course, of the chariot was um, uh, to share this truth, the truth of the shepherd's road message, because- Do we know? Uh, Where can I read it? Yes, I'm, 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 I'm about to give that. And uh, if we can go back to, Let's read the, the track number one, page 37, paragraph two. Sorry, page 34, paragraph two. I said that seven, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Page 34, paragraph two. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Page 34, paragraph two. So I'm reading, as these words making as a square formation, 
ran and returned and has over them above, God was sitting on his throne. It is evident that this marvelous living mechanism is the vehicle of God, his chariot in which he has come to bring the message to separate the wicked from among the just. Thus is animated the solemnity that as the battle is the Lord's, verily he will take charge of the flock himself. So now we can see from this, it's saying his chariot in which he has come to bring the message to separate the wicked from among the just. So the work of this chariot, it is from which the Lord is to bring the message to separate the wicked from among the just. So the mission of this chariot was to bring the message and which happened. So the message was brought in 1930 uh, from as from uh, the, the, the message was given us from February of 1930. And so we need to know when did uh, the, uh, when did the Lord accomplish the mission of sharing the message, of course, through his servant. So obviously we know the brother Hotev uh, died in 1955. So there's no way the, the, the message was to be Ah, it was to continue. The Lord was to continue giving us the message when the, the servant had rested. So in that case, Odam again opening a certain, it's very obvious that um, the mission was accomplished uh, way before 1955 when the prophet died. Because we know he died, of course, in February 1955. You said way before he died? Uh, okay, the day, okay, the, his death, it signified the accomplishment of the work of the chariot or the mission of the chariot. Okay, his death. Yes, I hope, I, I hope I'm clear. Okay, but so you tell me sometime before 1955. Yeah, shortly before 1955. Okay. 1950, and, you don't don't have any, and you don't have any evidence. I have. I'm just trying to find it. When okay. I, when 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 the last message well, was released in 1954, I'm 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 getting it. All right, well, move to the next person because you're supposed to have only reference when you show up. Seven, paragraph two. <laughs> Excuse me? We can often track number one, page that seven, paragraph two. Okay. Okay, let me read it. <clears throat> the fact, therefore, this that from part, the is This part tells us when this prophet died, when the message ended. Because I think that's what we're trying to ascertain when the message ended, the proof that the message ended. When did the, the, the chariot leave? We need to have the proof. Is this statement the proof? No, it's not. Um, well, let me just my quotation again. I don't know where it is. Let me find it and come in again. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, make sure you have all your references. And if you don't have all the references, just move on to let someone else bring that reference in. Because I don't want to be waiting for you to find a reference. So, and you never know the, the, how your answer will be dealt with. I may ask for, for a backup or whatever. You don't have it, that's fine. Just ask to come back. Okay, who's next? Um, next one is Brother Dennis Mawaba. Okay. Brother Dennis, you have to unmute your mic. Uh, greetings, Brother Lennox, and greetings, Church. Greetings, Sister, Sister, Sister Esther. Yes, this is Sister Esther. So... Um, we are looking at when the, the period, okay, the question says the period, so I would say 24 years, 
speaking from it that the last publication was done in December 1954. So that's coming from volume 10 of the symbolic code number two. Okay. So that was when the uh, mission was accomplished because we... Would we say that symbolic code is a part of the publication of the literature? That particular symbolic code? Sorry? So would we say the publication of that symbolic code is the end, is the evidence that the message, the revelation of the message was over? considering the role of the symbolic code? Uh, <clears throat> I think that's, that's what I would, uh, if asked the question, that's what I would say. Okay, but well, what if I get, present to you the statement that says the publication and listed Shepherd's Lord, volume one, volume two, the tracks, and the symbolicals were in existence, but they never listed them. Okay. Okay, uh, then I, I, I believe others may come in. I... It, it do, which does not mean that the truth is not in the symbolic code, no, not the not least bit, but the, 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 the portion that is part of the publication is not the symbolic code because the symbolic code is to live on as the official organ of the organization. But whereas the message ends with when the child, when the last publication of that portion takes place, okay? Who's next? Okay, Brother Lennox, thank you. Okay. The next one will be Brother Theory Onassis. Greetings in Jesus Christ. Greetings. Um, J'ai un texte concernant ABN2. I have a statement in uh, page 23, book, page 2. number two. And what are you, what are you going to be answering? Are you going to try to wrap up this, or what are you telling? What are you, what are you going to do? Alors, ça ne compte. J'ai deux textes. Um, so so I je réponds là où apporte l'aide. To answer or to bring help, and also to the evidence you're you're trying to bring the evidence of the chariot leaving, and that's what I'm trying to understand because that's where we are right now, and we have a statement. There's other statement. There's another statement, but we have we have a statement where the uh, the mission, we saw when the, the message was revealed, we saw one statement of the purpose. Now we're trying to ascertain when did it leave? Okay, so if I go to CO2, page 278, paragraph three. Is that gonna tell us what? Tell me, please. I, I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to figure out where you're going so, that we could wrap this ce, ce, Cela parle justement de concernant 1900, 1929 and 1930. No, I don't, we, we have already established that. Unless you believe, do you Alors, believe 1930 is not so can I take an, a last statement? Okay, so you want a statement to establish the 1930? 
Is that what you want to do? Give a statement to establish 1930? No. 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 The text is to explain chapter 1. The, the statement to explain track number one. Um, I would take another text to um, show. Okay. And I would take another statement to show. Que le message est arrivé et que that le, the message is arrived. And it, it did not uh, announce the message in its time. Okay. Donc, uh, let us let us look at the question. How long did the child remain for the Lord's first advent? That's the question. How long did the child remain? The length of time would be from the arrival to the departure. That will be the length of time. That's how long. Arrival to departure. And it is established that the chariot is the mechanism that the Lord uses to come to visit the earth when he has a mission. And when the mission is a complete, he returns. That was established. Et la mission so, in order to answer the question, we would need to know the mission, the arrival, and the departure. That will answer our question. So, we know the mission. Yeah. Do, do you have a statement to further a different statement? But I think. <coughs> the, the quotation that was uh, already given is track number one, page 36. Qui track this in this statement track one, page gives us uh, the explanation of track yeah, 36, paragraph you know four. I am saying, I want to know which part of the question are you dealing with are you dealing with the establishment are you affirming the establishment of 1930 or are you trying to prove that when it left that's what i'm trying to ascertain from you le, pro, le tout premier texte c'était pour uh, 1929 it the first statement it was for 1929 and 1930 Que okay. donné you, un you're trying to affirm that? C'est pour 1929, 1930. Yes, that is for 1929 and 1930. Okay. So where, what, where you want to go? I'm trying so to shorten this. But I did not. Go ahead. Tu posé deux questions. Tu m'as demandé. You have um, asked your questions. Quand, lequel que je veux montrer? Est-ce que c'est seul so quand? Which one I want to show? It, Donc, when the message came. Je t'ai dit à ce moment. So I answered at that time. That it is. Par exemple, I will paragraphe. take answer book number two, page. C'est quoi la page? Page 33, paragraphe 1. Page 33, paragraph 1. Une et deux, hein? Oh, pardon. Ou paragraph 1 and 2. If the sealing message of the 144,000 has been going to the church since 1929, our park or all of the 144,000 already sealed. Also, if none can be sealed, save they be free from sin, and if some are now being sealed, then have they passed beyond sinning? Answer. If the sealing is not in progress now, then the sealing message which we have borne since 
1929 would no more be present truth now than would the proclamation of the judgment of the dead have been present truth from 1844 to 1929 had not the dead been judged during that period. Definitely then the message of the sitting and the sitting itself go hand in hand, the same as the needle and the shuttle travel together until the seam, the seam is completed. Oh, à la réponse, il dit, si le serment n'est pas en cours maintenant, so it, in the answer, it is said, if the sealing is not in progress now, then the sealing message which we have borne since 1929 will no more be present Donc, truth. Cela, cela, so cela montre déjà que le message que nous avons porté en 1900. Donc that, ça montre une date. So here, this show us a date. But what was being taught in 1929? Is it the revelation of the 144,000 or what is needed, the reformation that is needed? C'était la reform. It was the reformation. Yes, it started with the Sabbath school quarterly and it was about the reformation, the letter to the church. And that is what has been, were being taught since 1929. And as we look in Shepherd's Word volume one, it, 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 it even continue that. But the revelation of the 144,000, which is the truth, came, was revealed in February of 1st, 1930. And we can also know that because in 1929, when the first study was given, it was the Sabbath school quarterly brought to the church. Therefore, that's what the 1929 is, and that's what it was explained. So there is 1929, yes, and there's 1930, the revelation of the 144,000. So there's two dates. That's why we always see the two dates, 1929, 1930. Okay. Alors, for, for the next, okay. Par Concerning, concerning the, the time, the length of time, the text of the, the, the statement, uh, 36, track number one, page 36, paragraph 4 and 5, When considered in the light of the four main facts so far established, these questions are virtually self-answering. One, the Lord comes to earth in, his, in this chariot. Two, from it, he commands Ezekiel to go speak to his people. Three, Ezekiel did not bear the message to the people of his day. Four, he will bear it to the people at the commencement of the Lord cry. Thus, it is seen that when the time comes that the church has reached the condition described by the Lord, Ezekiel chapter 3 to chapter 9, the mystery of the vision is to be revealed and the message carried to the church and that the church has already reached this time and condition is conclusively evidenced by the threefold fact that the first part of this most startling revelation, dilated hearing, 
was published in December 1930 in a 255-page book entitled The Shepherd's Rod, Volume 1. That the second part was published in the month of September 1932 in a 304-page book entitled The Shepherd's Rod, Volume 2. And that the third part, the series of tracts, of which this is the first, which since 1933 aggregates to date some 898 pages comprises volume three. Okay. Alors, for, quand dans les deux, le premier et le deuxième, so, the uh, first and the second, quand nous considérons point, à la lumière des quatre feuilles du principal. When considering the light of the four main facts, dit, it is said, dit, le vient sur la terre dans ce the Lord comes to earth in this chariot. Alors, donc nous avons vu so we déjà had, les deux dates, the date, that the first, 1929. Donc, he did not say 1929. He did not say that. Sabbath School Quarterly was issued in 1929, but it was published, it was prepared before 1929. Okay. Okay. Alors, deuxièmement, deuxièmement, il dit de ce chat, so il a dit qu'il In the second uh, one, from it, he commands Ezekiel to go speak to his people. Donc, Ezekiel, le prophète, annonce un message à son peuple. Then, the, the prophet, Ezekiel, announced Et the nous, message nous to venons, his people. Nous venons de voir uh, une pour uh, la réforme and want... et l'autre pour les 144 000. Excuse me, um, Brother Derry, Brother Malak. Um, it is time for the third half an hour song. Okay. Let us have it. Okay. It's okay. Uh, it'll be by Sister Elaine Van Dort. Um, she's from the 11th, um, she'll be singing from the 11th hour church hymn number 32, The Perfect Man. Jesus says I must be born again, give my heart to him and let him reign, rent my heart now and not my garment with contrite spirit. Thank you. 
Amen. 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 Heal my Laodiceanality. Renew my mind, Lord. This is my plea. Praise his holy name. Hmm. Okay. Or a theory. Ok, je parlais, mais confirme, désolé. So, I was Alors, uh, speaking, my microphone was on. Um, en, en, en troisième lieu, il dit qu'Ezekiel n'a so pas adressé ce message au peuple. So, in a third part, it says Ezekiel did not bear the message to the people of his day. Quand nous savons que... Le, le prophète est, est descendu prophet, dans 1955. Nous savons qu'il n'a pas adressé ce message. Il n'a pas adressé tout, tout le message. Tout le message. So the whole message. Donc, sur ces différents points de. de so on de, those de, different je... points. Um, on voit que Ezekiel, Ezekiel donne entre le 2 et le 3. We see that Ezekiel between the two, the, the, the second uh, and the third part. Based on what we have said previously. Je veux dire que tu nous parles de 5 février 1929. 11 février 1929. So who we talk about? Il parle également de the, the, the message in 1929. In, uh, the, and then we have the death of the Donc, prophet in 1955. De là, on peut, on peut à, From this, we can see n'a pas annoncé tout le message au peuple de that the prophet did not uh, uh, bring the mes message for his people for the people in his time which have nothing to do with when the message when the chariot left we're not speaking about the char the prophet. We're speaking about the chariot. Did the chariot leave? Okay. Chariot mission. What was the chariot mission? When did that mission end? We're not speaking about the prophet. We're speaking about the chariot. So it, it, it is uh, when the prophet died that the chariot left, but I know. Where is the evidence? Uh, and that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the statement. The evidence to show us when did the message end? When is the last? When did the message end? Because when the message is finished, the chart departs. So when did the message finish? At the prophet's yes, death, continue. Where is the evidence. If you say the prophet's death, where is the evidence? His death is the evidence that that's when the child left. So it came for his life or it came to deliver a message. Did it come for his life? If it came for his life, then it leaves after he dies. But if it came to the, 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 the deliverance of the message, that's what we're trying to ascertain. So if you don't have that reference, 
We'll have someone else with the reference because it's just we just need evidence, not just you saying it, the evidence. Okay, donc Frère Lenox, je peux okay, prendre Gisrel 5. Can I, can, can I go to Gisrel letter number 5? 5. Okay. Page 5, paragraph 1. Page 5, paragraph 1. Okay. It is if it be true that there are to be only 144,000 living saints when Jesus comes, and if the membership doubles by the end of 1953 or 1954, as the aim seems to be, then at that rate in 1955, according to your own calculation, there will be only nine saints to 91 the devils out of every hundred members. Accordingly, if the membership doubles several times before Jesus comes to receive his church, then there will not be even one cent in a hundred members. If this be so, then ask yourselves whose church is the church, the devils or the lords, and where shall he look for it when he comes. Okay, donc, uh, je n'ai pas la bonne citation, donc, uh, désolé. So, I, I am sorry, I don't have the right statement. Je, je reviens. Merci. I will come back. Thank Thanks. you. Next person. Thank you. Who's next? Okay, I'm going to go to someone that hasn't had a chance. Sister Melissa Henry, you can go ahead. Praise the Lord, bless Sabbath, everyone. Let me ask, Brother Lennox, have you moved on to a second question? Because I know you started with asking how long the chariots stay. No, we have not. We have not. Okay. Now, the rod says on page 10, until the mission is accomplished. Now, the rod says, on page 37, it has arrived. And I'm saying this because it would have already been read. Now, I am not of, a, of the understanding that since the, the chariot came, when the chariot came in 1930, it stayed on earth right throughout the duration of the prophets getting the message. But that is the feedback that I'm getting now. Oh, we must understand there's no limitation to God, but he stays until the mission is accomplished. But if he needs to go do something and come back, he can do that because he's God. Anyone can run an organization and go somewhere else and come back and their office is still intact. So it does not say we do not, we should not understand that. That's it. But the, we, we, it came for the mission and when does it leave? It leaves when the mission is accomplished. That's what it says. But it does not negate any back and forth activity for whatever. That's side. The focus is it came for a mission. When did the mission accomplish? That's when it leaves because that's what the word says, right? That's what it says. Keeping both harmony of the word, you, you leave that to the side. You can't think that the chart never leaves. Right. But it did not go. It did not depart from its mission. It continued. The mission is still there. But oh, I need to go fix that. It comes back. But the mission is still on. That's the point. So, with that said, is it safe to say on page thirty-nine when it says, following the completion of the slaughter and just preceding the scattering of the coal? of the fire over the city, the cherubim stood on the right side over- Which, where are you reading? Okay, I'm reading from page, I'm, I'm reading on page 39. 
paragraph, the second paragraph, it says. That is not what is left. That is after Ezekiel 9, that's another mission. Okay, so that is, that's where I'm coming, coming to because the mission. So on page 10, my understanding is that the mission is delivering the message. So he's not stuck here. And so at different times, the chariot would visit and leave. No, but, you, you, not, but that is not what the statement says. The statement says when the mission is accomplished, he leaves. The so mission the, gets accomplished at the end of the at the end of delivering the message. That's okay. what that's where we're looking at. Not the going back and forth. That is understood. And 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 would it be the end of delivering the message to Ezekiel that's, as it, Ezekiel 19.30? That's when the mission for the deliverance of the message ends. And that's the mission we're looking at. And that's Ezekiel of 19.30? Yes. Because that's Ezekiel of 19.30 brought the message to. No one else have the message. No one else is writing. You No one else can add to the road message. Okay. The road message is complete. Okay. So... It, he left when the message was complete. Okay. Not negating the fact if he wants to go, it's like I get hired to run at this office to, to finish the construction. It doesn't mean I have to stay at that construction site all night, all day long, does it? No. Well, I can go home, I can do this, I can come back. But when do I, when I leave the construction site, or when it's done, that's when my mission is over. I'm not coming back there again on, unless I have a mission to inspect or do something else. So that's what how you look at it. And that's how the rod explained Christ is not stuck any place. Okay. So but we must see it in the light of the mission and its accomplishment to decide when the chart came and when it left for that mission. So that is an additional thought for me then. I'll get back to you, Brother Lennox, if no. Okay. Thanks. Now that is the 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 the, the, the thought of oh. when did the mission accomplish? If the Christ could left in 1932, go do something. Because if you notice the rep, the message was given in periods, but it wasn't the, the whole message was not finished until the last one was published. That's when the mission, the mission for the message ended. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? And we'll go to Brother Vincent Hanzuma. Great, greetings, my brothers and sisters. Greetings. Am I, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Um. I would love to com uh, uh, to quote uh, five symbolic codes, one to five. And what are you trying to? The reason uh, I have to cut this short, okay? Yes, because yes. We have been going on this one question. What I need to ascertain is when does the chariot leave? We have already. Okay. Let me listen to me carefully. Everyone who is about to speak. Because you have to learn to follow what I'm asking, okay? I have yes. I, we have established that the message come, came in 1930. The revelation yes. came in 1930. It was evidenced by a statement. If you have yes. another statement to change that, fine. But if you don't, that is already established. That's when it came. Now we're trying okay. to ascertain. First, we, we, if you have another statement to ascertain the purpose of the mission, the purpose of the mission was to bring the message. If you want to support that, and you have a reference, fine. But what we're trying to ascertain at this time is when does the chariot leave to end the mission 
of bringing the message. When does the chariot leave to end the mission of bringing the message? Okay. Can, can we read the symbolic code number one to four? 2020. This will show us when the when yes. the, when the end. Okay. Yes. We read the uh, okay 2022 symbolic code number that, one. That, no, that is not the rod. Okay. Okay. Don't bring 2022 symbolic code. That is the official organ. If you are you have a reference in there, use the reference in there. The the reference. Yes, if you got a reference from there, use the reference. Can I read it? Read the reference that is given in 20 symbolic code. It must be a reference. Give me the reference oh, up here. Oh, oh. No, in that case, I don't have. I just have the statement where it's written the, the time when Brother Utef died. Okay, well, that's we have to we have to have the evidence in the rod itself. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Exactly Thank you. The rod. That's exactly why the the rod did not mention not the symbolic codes because it's an official organ that can be continued, but you can't continue the rod. Okay. 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 Thank you. In that case, I thought the rod itself should give us the evidence. Okay. A symbol okay, we have published by the prophet can give us the evidence as well. Like but don't no, bring the official organ out into this. Okay. Okay, okay next we have Sister Diane Brett. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Greetings, Brother Lennox. Greetings, Church. Greetings. Um, the reference I have is in track number one, page 11. What are, you, what are you proving? What are you showing? The what am I showing? When the message, and when the child left after the mission of bringing the message? Yeah, so I'm, I'm not really sure if I uh, understand the question because the question is, how long did the chariot remain for the Lord's first visit? Yes, and the question is, now, in order for you to answer the question, you have to answer several questions, okay? The first question is, what was the first visit about? The first visit was about to bring the message. Exactly. So, and, and, and then we're told that when the Lord have a mission, he used this chariot. And when the mission is complete, he leaves. Okay, so he brings the message. When he's finished, he, he, he leaves with, with, to end that mission, yeah. which does not negate the fact that he can go back and forth because he's not tied here. But his mission, the chariot leaves after the mission is accomplished, the statement says it, right? Right. Therefore, what we want to know now is since the, since the visit, is about bringing the message. When did the chariot leave after delivering that message? When did the mission? When did the chariot leave? That's 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 the that's the answer. Yes, and did not the is it not so that the message came first to Ezekiel? And who is Ezekiel represented? Who's represent who is Ezekiel representing? I'm not sure who he represents. You're not but... sure. Do you know who wrote the rod message? Yes. Isn't brother... that the message that came in 1929? Yes, Brother Hautef wrote it. Exactly. So there's no other one, no one else can represent Ezekiel as far as receiving the message, no one else. Okay, so then... Um... Ezekiel represents different individuals and people. 
But the first mission is definitely VT Hodeth because there's no other name on the Shepherd's Lord message. No other name. But uh, did not uh, the chariot came in Ezekiel's time, but he didn't understand it when it came and- it Yeah, was that was a vision. That was a vision. The fulfillment is 1929. Yes, so the vision is not the- When the, no. the vision Ezekiel had That's, is not the correct answer to the right. question. Right, the, the fulfillment came in 1929, 20, 1930, when Christ came to reveal the truth of the 144,000. Okay, but uh, the, then I don't understand it because the chariot came in Ezekiel's time and when... No, but that was just the vision. Oh, the vision, okay. Then Ezekiel, I... Ezekiel was given a vision of what to take place. He saw Ezekiel 9, but it didn't take place yet, did it? No, it didn't. Exactly. So what he's seeing is a vision. He had this vision, the chariot coming and his... He couldn't understand it. He goes and he was with those in the captivity. So it, it's the vision, which is the prophecy. And in 1920, 1930, the fulfillment of the vision came. The fulfillment of the prophecy. But in 1929... Uh, the cherry didn't came again. He came in Ezekiel's days. It, it came in 1930. It came again in 1930. So that's yes. not... Okay. Ezekiel time was just the vision. Okay. Ezekiel yeah. saw the vision, but the actual prophecy of the fulfillment of the prophecy is when the chair came in 1930 to deliver the message to Brother Hanif, the shepherd's rod message. Okay, now I understand it correctly. Then I have to search for the right reference. Yes. Thank you, Brother Lennox. You're welcome. Anyone else? With the... um, yes, there are hands. So we're at the last song. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask. Okay, let's do, do the song. Okay. And that song will be sung by Sister Natasha Todd. And she'll be singing from the 11th Hour Church hymn as well, number 37, Dear Man and Wife. Greetings, Church. Greetings. You have to go unmute your mic again. Uh, greetings. Uh, my question should be with Sister, Sister Linda Msunga. Yes. Sister Linda Msunga. This is Natasha. I'm not sure if you're on. You were on for a few minutes, but it looks like your mic is closed again. Okay, we can go to the backup. Um, Brother Joshua Wazwa, um, 11th, hour, 11th hour church hymn number 29, It Must Triumph. For the Joshua Wazwa. Yes, greetings. Can I be heard? Yes, you can be heard in greetings. It must triumph. The song is called It Must Prayer.
Amen. It is projected. Okay, praise the Lord. Dark danger lies, but we must turn. Please pray, can't see it. Amen. Dark danger lies, but we must turn. Against the most ingenious drum, which Satan will soon set us proud. Let us feel the past church's mouth. It must triumph, it must triumph. Should I can see the screen? It must triumph, it must triumph the last movement which God shall call. That John is and is now in you. Oh, take he lest he also fall. Beginning with Noah's moment, called to build a ark of refuge. They disbelieved the message sent. They were destroyed by the deluge. It must triumph, it must triumph, the last moment which God shall call. The Chinese and is now in view. Oh, take it, least to hear us for. In Moses' time, the movement and left Egypt set for Canaan land. Oh, physicists, comprehending men, rebelled against the Lord's command. Rebelled against the Lord's command. It must triumph, it must triumph, the last moment which God shall call. The child is and is now in view. Oh, take his place, he also for. And then Joshua's canon woman possessed the land in purity. Later, as they did torment, they ended in captivity. It must triumph, it must triumph, the last moment which God shall call. The Chinese and is now in view. Oh, take it, least he also for. Those are the moments gone. There is other moments gone ahead. Apostolic and pro protestant. They started great, but when misled by Satan's son, they did relay. It must triumph, it must triumph, 
Dallas moment which goes our that can be and this now in you oh take he lays to all so far The eleven as moments last this time to preach to all the world. There's no longer time to waste. It must triumph to others failed. It must try, it must try. The last moment we go shall call. Praise the Lord. It must triumph, it must triumph, the last moment with Goshakor. The journey's end is now in you. Oh, take he lays to also for. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. It must triumph. Though all others fail, it must triumph. Okay. Who's next? Okay, okay next one will be Mr. Eileen Raumbo. Oui, salutations à l'église. Uh, greetings to the church. Please. Oui, uh, salutations frère Inox Sam. Greetings, uh, brother Inox Sam. Greetings, my dear sister. Oui, à travers tout le message, tout ce que vous pouvez entendre. So through all the message that has been said. Ouais. Je donne, euh, I will give. Euh, voilà, donc, euh, donc je peux savoir que il dit et quand par, partira-t-il? When euh, he will depart. C'est bien ça. Is it so? Donc, euh, so. Donc, tac 1, 39, paragraphe 2. Page 39, paragraph 2. Page 39, paragraph 2. Mm -hmm. Sixième jour, le sixième mois. That is not it. Donc, c'est après, la, pu après la purification. Donc, so, that is after the purification. completed purification. That is after the purification. That's a not a mission. That is not Après la purification, ça c'est une autre mission. Okay. Mm. Who's next? Okay. Next will be um, Sister Natasha Black's family. Greetings. Greetings, Sister Natasha. Okay. Well, what we already established so far is. Correct. So I am looking at now um, when all has done and the, the mission has accomplished that we saw in page 39 of track number one, Christ return. But I am looking now at now where will Christ is not when Christ, the mission, when the mission accomplished, but when we saw that now that. Mission. 
mission to give the message this to the prophet. Is not when it was accomplished. This okay, is not but okay. Well, I'm looking now that um, all has been established. We see that, but where were Christ when the first report was given, and where were he when the second report was given? Right, and then uh, well, I saw that in chat number chat number um one page 21 paragraph two and 22 paragraph three but when he everything is finished according to my notes that i have is that um from the period of 1929 to the close of probation in shepherd rod volume 2 162 paragraph three well, so what the mission no. Listen to the, the mission is the first mission. When we read Ezekiel 9, we see different missions. I mean, and not Ezekiel 9, Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapters, the chapters of Ezekiel's prophecy. We see several different missions. The, the mission for the for, to come and purify the church is not the mission to bring the, is the when he brought the message. The message was brought to Brother Hanif, we evidence in when the first, the truth of the 144,000 was revealed. It means Christ revealed that to him. Christ brought the message then. So the mission was to bring the message. If the mission is to bring the message, then when the mission is ended, we're told when the mission is ended, the chariot leaves. Right. So, okay. When so, did the mission of bringing the message end? When did it end? I have that um, in 2TG 34, um, 28, paragraph 4, the last part in 1954. That's when it ended. Yes. Amen. That's when it ended. So the evidence is 2TG 34. If that's the... That was published in 1954. The last work that we have for the rod is 1954. That's when it ended. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise his name. That's when it ended. What was the reference? 2 TG 34. Page 28, paragraph four, the last line, say 1954. Amen. 2GG34. 34. Yes, 28. Is it 94? Yeah, last. The last line I in my notes I have last line 1954. Is this TG whichever was if this was a revised in 1954 this is the last TG that's it. Whichever it is, I'm not sure. I don't know, but that's what I have in my notes. That's what you have in your notes, but I don't see that there. Okay, but. 2TG. When was this TG revised? I don't know, but um that is our our sim uh, the, 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 the the reference should tell us the, the our book should tell us yeah the book tells us that is in 1954 in the publication. That's it's, it. <laughs> that's it, that's the evidence we have. 1954 publication. And I have the, the notes that I have starting from the paragraph that say the shepherd's rod book, the book that inspiration so named and inspired is content, being the only rod in the world it's that can be. It's actually 2TG22. Oh, okay. 2TG20, the last TG to re revise. And not only that, we have evidence that the General Conference Special was also revised in 1954. So 
One thing we know, it is the year 1954, the exact date, we don't know, but it's the year 1954 is when the last revisions were made to the Shepherd's Rod message. The last um, books to revise is 2TG22 and General Conference Special. And uh, the backup notes, the backup notes I have that Brother Hatif died on February 5th, 1955, 25 later, evidence that the mission to deliver the message was accomplished. The chariot of Ezekiel one left and returned to heaven. Yes, that's the evidence we have that when he died, it must have ended. When did it end? Did it end the day he died? We go back to the last publication. The last revisions were made because if we believe that this is the rod message, is, is the message given by Christ to Brother Hadith, every revision is by Christ. And that's the end. If you have something else to contribute to that, you may keep your hands up. If you don't, take your hands down. Amen. Okay. If you have something different to contribute to what was just accomplished, what I just said, 1954 was the year that the chart left for the accomplishment of that mission, signifying that mission is accomplished. We know the evidence is, Brother Hans Dix proves that he did leave. And the last thing we saw, the last revisions of the Rod message was in 1954. So that's when it ended, 1954. If you have anything different, keep your hands up. If you don't have something different, take it down. Do not waste my time. Do not waste the church time. Do not waste God's time with keeping your hands up, okay? Please, my dearly beloved. Brothers, um, Lennox, before you um, go on, yeah. um, I had at that end that I also noted um, Shepherd Rod Volume 2, 162, as when everything is closed in from 1929 to close of probation. So that has anything to do with no, um, no, the mission? Okay. No. The close of probation, the message has been delivered all uh, already. Done. It's okay. been delivered already. We're not, no one is coming to rewrite the rod. The rod is complete. The message of the rod, Shepherd's Rod, is complete. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, next. You have six hands up and you have 10 minutes left. Okay, next. Okay, the next one will be Brother Bright Shakrila. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Brother Jenny Fred. Greetings, this is Brother Danny. Uh, uh, greetings, uh, Brother Lennox. Mm -hmm. I uh, have 10 symbolical two. Uh, actually, I have two references, but 10 symbolical two uh, and on 12.1. And what does that tell us? It gives us uh, um, an indication that the, the date is in it uh, because it was the last symbolic code and uh, uh, it gives us, uh, yeah. Oh, because the symbolic code is not, not part of the raw message as the publications were listed. It is the official organ. It does have the truth in it, but the last actually, part of the publication is the ones listed. Okay, okay, yeah, because it was actually it's actually it's actually not really giving a proof, but it's actually saying that uh, uh, the code has been print uh, has not been printed for eleven years. It's yeah, placed... but it's not it, because the. We okay, print okay. the code, we can't say it's part of the rod now. The code yeah, is a true. organ. So that's why we don't, we're not going to use the code as the evidence. Okay, now that, that then, then uh, indeed, I, that I should have uh, chosen the other one. But thank you, then I know. Okay, who's next? Brother Bright Chiquila. Timely greetings. Can I be heard? Yes, you can. Amen. Happy Sabbath to the church. Yes, in addition to the 1934 time, which has been stated to be the time when the chariot left and the evidences from the TGs where we see that in 1934, 
Brother Hope was inspired to revise them. There is another point in. Are you say you said thirty four or fifty four? Because I'm here in thirty four. No, nineteen fifty four. Okay, because oh, thank you for the collection. I might have yes said that. So, uh, uh, in addition to that point of 1954, basing it from the revision of the timely greetings, there is another cardinal point in 10 symbolic code number two, page four, paragraph three. 10 symbolic code number two, page four, paragraph three. Ten symbolic code. Number two, page four, paragraph three. So maybe we can begin from paragraph one of, of ten symbolic code number four. Of ten symbolic code number two on page four. Now paragraph one to get the context of the okay. part we will focus our attention on. Okay, so on paragraph one, we are told. I, okay, I know where you're going, and I'm going to tell you right now that was done in, in the 1953, not 54. Oh, okay. The publication of the. Yes. Jazz Roleta series. Right. All right. So, how do we know that? How do you <laughs> know that? We see the week of November. This is day of days. Day of days yeah. and in October. Oh yeah. October of 1954. So it had to be in October of 1953 for it to and be. Then, and then, and then yes, that, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. So the, our evidence now remains with the revision of TGs. Yes. So can I, yes, thank you brother Lennox. That makes a lot of sense indeed. Uh, can I add another two points to the answer which has been given to prove that Christ had to leave after the, the division of the TGs and the death of Brother Hotev? Okay. The, yes, the other evidence we have is in a three tract in a three tract and I'll substantiate it well in three tract page 46. In three tract page 46. Go ahead. Yes. So in three tract page 46, inspiration tells us, and I quote, the angels who are around about the throne in the heavenly sanctuary during the judgment of Daniel 7, 9 and 10, and Revelation 5 verse 11. So this judgment, if we read the other part of the shepherd's road, it is the judgment of the dead. So we are told the angels who are around about the throne in the heavenly sanctuary during the judgment of Daniel 7, 9 and 10 and of Revelation 5, 11, showers the parables explain, descend with the son of man when he comes to his temple, his church, to separate by judgment the wicked from among the just and to pay as God and silver those who may abide the day of his coming. And they, that they may offer unto the Lord and offer it in righteousness, Malachi 3, verse 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Then going down, inspiration continues to say, and I quote, in graphic demonstration that he will come to earth with all his angels to execute judgment upon the living, the Lord revealed himself prophetically to Ezekiel as being brought and thrown to earth by four living creatures just before the slaughter of the hypocrites in the earth takes place. And as each of the living creatures as the first of a lion, the first of a calf, the first of a man, and the first of an eagle, Ezekiel 110, the same judicial insignia as has been as have the beast who are before the throne in the heavenly sanctuary, Revelation 4, 7. In the time of the judgment of the dead, and as they descend to heaven, they thereby symbolically show that the work of the mediatorial judicial throne which convene and preside over the judgment of the dead is extended to earth. So now, this statement is showing us that when the judgment of the living begins, Christ will not be here on earth, he will be coming from heaven. Meaning, 
that he had gone back to heaven. Mm -hmm. So we know when he comes to slaughter to fulfill Ezekiel 9, he would have fulfilled the part in Ezekiel chapter 1 of coming to deliver the message, which is in Ezekiel chapter 2 and 3. Then before he comes to do the slaughter in Ezekiel chapter 9, he will be coming from heaven. He will not be found already here on earth. Then continuing inspiration says, let's read on. Going to 47, this extension, that is the coming of Christ and his angels to earth, which will mark the extension of the judgment to the earth, we are told. This extension, as far as we are able to know now, must take place at the opening of the seventh seal, Revelation 8.1. For at that time, the celestial voices which opened the judgment of the dead cease in the heavenly sanctuary and begin after the half hour silence to sound on earth. In other words, just as in heaven at the opening of the judgment of the dead, there were lightnings and thunderings and voices. Likewise, mm -hmm. on earth at the opening of the judgment of the living, there are voices and thunderings and lightnings and an earthquake. So today, or at the time when this statement was written, it was in 1941 when this statement was written, 1941 and inspiration. In this same statement, when we go to page 43, let's go to page 43. So, so far, this statement we can was actually, okay. It was republished, it was published in 1942. So let us use, the, the, it was published and, and was, uh, was um, copyrighted in 1942. So let's use that 42 date. And not 41. Oh, yes. So in 1942, the prophet is making the statement to say, Christ, when the judgment of the living begins, you will not be on earth, but you will be coming from heaven, meaning mm -hmm. you would have come just to emphasize the point, to give mm -hmm. the message, and you would have gone back mm -hmm. to heaven for him to come back. That is descending with the angels to execute the judgment upon the wicked in the church when the judgment of the living begins. Now going to page 43, just to solidify this point. In three tracks, page 43. On page 43, inspiration says, as the cleansing, that is paragraph three of three tracks, page 43, the voice of God says, as the cleansing court for in the parables and in Malachi's prophecy have never taken place, the investigative judgment of the living is obviously then yet future. Mm. This investigation work is therefore occasioned by the work of separation in the every sanctuary church as brought to view also in Ezekiel 9. So mm. in 1942, the prophet is saying, this judgment of the living at which time when Christ shall come from heaven in 1942, it was yet in the future. So this destroys any erroneous idea which can be created to say the seventh seal opened in 1929 or 1930, as others wrongly teach. It puts these uh, events or the date of Christ coming from heaven somewhere in the future. And moreover, just to give the last statement, uh, in a two answer a book, um, page 94, to answer a book, page 94, I mean, to answer a book, page 92, paragraph 4, to answer a book, page 92, paragraph 4. To answer a book, page 92. Paragraph four, yes. So inspiration here says, and we know the answer of books were all written in 1944. They were written in 1944, somewhere after the, the copywriting of the tract we are from leading in 1942. So here in 1944, inspiration says, as the anger of the nations, sorry, let me repeat, the voice of God says, 
as the anger of the nations is in the time of the judgment of the living, the loud cry of the third angel's message, the, the, the anger is obviously directed against God's people, not against the nations they, themselves. Obviously, this is the fact because the nations among themselves have always been angry and are angry even today, although we are still in the time of the judgment of the dead. So in 1944, Inspiration is saying, we are still in the time of the judgment of the dead, not in the time of the judgment of the living. So this fact helps us to see again that the investigative judgment of the living, even in 1944, it was yet in the future. Mm. So at least we can see from this point that class, yes, he had to leave when the prophet revised the TGs in 19, in 1954. He had to leave because the instrumentality died. He could not uh, continue the work where there is no instrumentality. And the next mission or the next thing that inspiration shows us is curse, curse coming from heaven, meaning he would have left to do now the work which we have laid in these paragraphs. So this is the point I wanted to add. May God bless and shalom. Okay. Ex ex excellent point because these are teachings that contradicts um, what the rod is actually saying, and that in order to understand the rod, you have to take it in the collection of statements, and and then you you can really understand it, not by one statement, and then the statement you you form an opinion on is 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 um, nullifying other important statements. That's why it says all statements on the subject must harmonize. And that's harmony in all the statements. So we must follow those instructions and the rod will be what it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, who's next? We have gone beyond our time. Let's finish with those. We have no more hands, please. Okay. The next one will be Brother Dennis Mawaba. Yeah, greetings, Brother Lennox and everyone. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, amen. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> Uh, yes, I I just wanted, uh, first of all, to get clarity uh, on the the reason uh, for for the symbolic code, uh, like uh, the symbolic code are being left. They, they cannot be used as proof. Uh, it, because you said because they are not listed as the, the of symbolic the code he was giving is the one that we publish. That's the symbolic code that was being given, not the symbolic code that the rod pub that Brother Hare published. The symbolic code that we publish is not to be used for us to be proving any point to anyone in the rod. The, the symbolic code that we publish is is teaching the rod. So point out the references in the rod, not the symbolic code reference. And I hope that's what you're talking about that cannot be used. Hello? He muted himself. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. I'm talking about 10 symbolic code number two. Okay. Uh, 10 symbolic code number two is not something that Parampare actually published and gave us some kind of truth. Again, remember when he listed the, the series of the broad message, the symbolic code was already in existence and he did not list them. Okay. 
that is in order for it to be continued because then it would not be able to be continued because then you have to say stop there with Brahmahana because he listed it here. It's part of the rod. It is part of the rod as he gave us instruction, but it is the official organ of the, org of the organization that is able to be continued after the rod message is finished. That's why he did not list it purposely in track number one. Track number one, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And because the symbolic code started in 1934, right? Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Now, uh, uh, you 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 forbid the uh, using other uh, references. So I was actually debating with my queen how forbidden forbid using other references. What do you mean by that? Yes, I, okay, I was debating with my queen now to bring out the point of uh, uh, Florence Hotev's, uh, where Florence Hotev proves that uh, there was a 1954 addition to the General Conference special in, to the 1950 General Conference special no. in... That could be proven because what you're doing, you're presenting evidence that the symbolic, that the general conference was revised. That could be used. You're not using the statement to prove a point. You're, prove, you're using the state, a statement to show that there was a revision done. Oh, that, okay. that could be used because it's historical evidence to prove you're not using her writings to prove the truth, but to show that there was a revision done of 1934. That's the only way we know it exists. Okay. Without that, yes. there's no way. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, then taking caution that uh, these writings are not part of the road. But uh, for the sake of uh, knowledge and proof, then I'll just read the one paragraph from it with the papers you have shown. Yes, from the illustration, yes. That is 1954, yes. Yes, where she says, that is 10 symbolic code number five, page nine, paragraph one. So I'll just give the just that reference there she clearly said 1954 edition uh of general conference of 1950 general conference special thank you yes and, and the reason why she's had to give the two she had to show both of them because at that time it was not yet distributed because Brother Hanif just did it and it had, was not yet distributed. So her writing about his debt and pointing out that, she had to, to, to point out the 1954 edition because most of the field, the field did not get it as yet because it was not distributed. So that is history. That could be done. Yes. Okay. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, the last hand we have was VTC Kenya, because these other two hands came up after you said no more hands. So the last one will be VTC Kenya. Go ahead. VTC Kenya. BTC Kenya has problem. Yes, they must be happy. I'm sorry, my mic is closed. Um, they're not unmuting their mic, so they must be having mic problems. I know mm -hmm. they've been going in and out quite a bit. 
Okay. All right. Well, since VTC Kenya, let's just take the other hand and that's it. That's you'll take the place of VTC Kenya and we'll that's it. Okay. Okay, Brother Peter and Sister Lisa Gibbs, you can go ahead. No, I just wanted Brother Sam to know he has a short in his mind. There's what? A short. When you speak, I'm not hearing it right this second, but you have a this short. This must be you. No, because I hear me. him plainly. No, it's not me. I hear him very clear. The uh, I don't know, because I'm having mic problem. I, I'm on another mic. I'm not on the the Yeti, because the Yeti has been contaminated the the yeti don't work right but the other mic works yeah, i have a yeti too i'm having the same problem okay you having the same problem with the yeti yeah i'm having problems with the yeti okay well maybe it's the yeti is going through <laughs> i don't know yeti a yeti mode mm. yet it's being attacked <laughs> mm. but yeah so, and the other one picks up and it, it, it takes the place but it's not as close but i'm glad that i do have the two when the yeti goes the other one takes up but the odd one is not as powerful as the yeti but now i have to look into the other microphones okay, okay. thank you all for a beautiful session <laughs> amazingly we only got one question covered i know we're a lot is a lot of us and maybe to get these questions through we're gonna have to devise a plan because if i have five i i think i have like at least seven more questions and if i have seven more questions and we can only get one this will last us for almost for the rest of the year but it's i mean we're learning and that's the most important thing um we're learning and and these 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 quiz are to help us to know that it's not enough for us to just listen to a presentation we need to go and study because one thing we all should understand is the 144,000 are leaders. They're men wondered at. We have to be able to teach this message. You may not be able to rattle off everything, but there's you have to have some part of this message that you truly understand and you've been able to share it. And if you study it, the Lord will bring it back to your remembrance. You, you, when the time comes, he will bring it back to your remembrance. So it is important, my dearly beloved brothers and sisters, as we go through these 300 days, I hope you all are having a tremendous time it uh, it is challenging to know to when you actually say lord <laughs> and you're wondering is it ever am i ever gonna get there and the still voice is saying yes <laughs> yes and then you consider the number of years that you have wasted and the lord says everything at the right time it matters not what we were yesterday it's what we will be from today on is what we're going to decide in our hearts to be it is not about sharing the truth it's about receiving the truth in our hearts this morning we heard about the vessel, the heart being the vessel. And the children told us that. So 
we have to make sure that this raw message is in the heart. Take it from the tablets, take it from the, from the cell phones, take it from the computer and place it in your heart. And the way to get it there is by studying. The raw message is not meant to be studied as a message, as a, I'm studying the raw. No, you're not studying. You can't study the rod like that. This, the rod message is designed to be studied by subjects. You take a subject and you study that subject. The beauty of the rod message is each, each subject is intertwined with other subjects. So when you're studying this, you're learning others. And, and you will find that in order to understand one, you have to go and study another one to, to really get the understanding of this one because they're all connected. It's a whole big, beautiful message. But the way it is written is to confuse the wicked, is to confuse the enemy and always keep him in derision. But to God's people, the raw message is this beautiful network of truths woven together so perfectly that you can see the picture. You can see the, 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 the truth. And how do you get to see it? How do you get it? It's by studying it. But how do you study it with the, with the spirit? So the first thing is to do what? Get the spirit inside and then begin studying. Don't worry about what this person know and what that person know and that person know. Don't try to be like someone else. Don't try to be like me. You cannot teach the message like I can and I cannot teach the message like you can because the message is taught by the person. It's, it's you bringing out what is inside and no pe two people have the same thing. God is not a duplicator. No, you don't duplicate. He make everything is individually, everyone is separate, distinct. So you be you. The Lord knows who you are and he has chosen you to be you and he's going to make you perfect. You can't, it's not everyone going to be exactly the same. We believe Christ-likeness means we're all going to be little um, robots. Everyone's going to be exactly the same. No, we'll have our own distinct personalities, our own distinct style, and the Lord will use that to reach those who can be reached with our style, with our method. So my dearly beloved, let us study like we never studied before. Let us embrace Christ. Study his life, emulate, be like him and this raw message, the wonderful, beautiful um, collection of subjects interwoven into this beautiful symmetry, into this beautiful picture of the judgment of the living. And what is the ultimate? God's kingdom. Well, my dearly beloved, when you think of God's kingdom, do not think of that place that is existing now. That's not where we're going. Think of the valley. Think of the Garden of Eden. That's where it's going to be. Think of Jerusalem that is going to be between the mountains and the valley. That's where we're going. God bless you all. Shall we have a volunteer to close us out in prayer? Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, words fail us to give thee thanks. We come before thee now in humility of spirit and contriteness of heart, with our hearts bowing lower than our knees. When we think about thee and thy holiness, and the love that thou hast for us. 
Oh Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, Lord. We thank thee for this privilege at this time to be knowing these truths. And for the invitation that thou has extended for us to be thy children. Mm. To have the knowledge of these truths mm. that will usher in thy kingdom. I mm. pray in the name of Jesus mm. that thy people us who are given this privilege, we will not slight it. No, this is the greatest privilege given to oh. mankind since the beginning of this earth. Mm. This privilege, have mercy upon us, Lord. Mm. For those who are deceived, those that, who the enemy has been able to close their eyes and their hearts, I beg thee, Open up their eyes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Open their eyes. Let them see this wonderful invitation, this invitation of love and mercy. Please, Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy truth, for thy blood, and for thy kingdom, visit thy people. Please, Lord. Please. Please. Snatch us. Snatch us from the snares of the wicked one. And let us humble ourselves. Let us take our eyes and our minds from the things of this world and turn our hearts to thee, please. Mm. Shine within us, shine within us. Mm. Give us thy comfort, give us thy peace, give us the assurance that we need to know that we are not alone. Even if we are in our locality by ourselves, we are not alone. We have the whole universe of angels with us. Please, Lord, give us the assurance that we need to stand. And having done all to stand. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your sweet Holy Spirit. Continue to mold us and make us and fashion us into thy likeness. Thank you, Lord. Again, I pray. Continue to be with the 11th of our church, the leadership, every single member, our children, our loved ones. Please turn our hearts to each other as you turn our hearts to mm -hmm. thee. Thank you, Jesus. Forgive us of our sins. Wash us and cleanse us. I pray by the inspiration of thy sweet Holy Spirit. And in Jesus' precious name, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 What a fellowship. What a fellowship. What a joy. To be leaning on the everlasting arm. God bless you all. Let us remember that these are the days that those that have gone before us have longed for. These climatic moments are ours. Do not be deceived. God bless you all, love you all, see you all next time, God willing. Amen, God bless you as well.